But up next, an American war resistor's fight to stay in Canada. Welcome back to Canoe Live. The war on terror got sidetracked with the war in Iraq by the Bush administration. And since then, more than 4,300 members of the U.S. military have died in Iraq since 2003. While Canada was once known as a haven for Vietnam War resistors, the country has not been so welcoming to resistors of the Iraq War. In fact, the government has sent some home. Well, joining us now is Joshua Key, one U.S. war resistor who will find out tomorrow whether he qualifies as a refugee and can remain in Canada. Um, Joshua, why did you decide to leave the war in Iraq? I left the war in Iraq. I spent six and a half months west of Baghdad. Uh, the reason I left was because of what I had witnessed and what I had participated in there. And then you moved here to Canada and... and I was in hiding for 14 months in the United States before making uh, the trip to come to Canada. You know, that was one of the, the hardest things of my life when you have to leave your home country and come to another. And why would you like to stay here then? Well, I, I would like to stay here. It's a, it's a nice, peaceful country. It's been a very, um, how would you say it, uh, nice and kind to me. I mean, it's, it's another deal with as far as the immigration board and, and as well as the conser conservative government. But things, uh, things will change. I mean, there's been a, a motion passed twice in the House of Commons, and uh, so to me, that's the will of the Canadian people that want us to stay in Canada. It's just getting that motion put forward and letting it pass through. Do you feel that Canada has an obligation to welcome uh, war resistors? I, I think yes. Uh, you know, on, on an inter international level, you know, as well as uh, you know, us that come, we just want to live in peace. You know, most of us have have been to war and seen crazy things and witnessed crazy things. We want to come somewhere where we can live out the rest of our days and not be punished for not wanting to go back and commit more acts. You know, that's the the main purpose of me being here, as well as many many others. Well, you've been in Canada for four years now. Tell us about your life. Well, it's been a uh, it's been a good life. I mean, you know, certain things happen. You know, I uh, I have an ex-wife, my four children that moved back to the United States because of uh, wouldn't say pressures, but in a sense, yes. You know, but uh, I've um, st it's good. You know, I, I'm still I'm still peaceful. I still live in peace. It's still uh, I walk out the door every morning and I know where I'm at and it's comfortable. So. Well, as you mentioned, your your immigration hearing is tomorrow. Tell us what exactly is going to happen. Uh, well, when I go to the immigration hearing, it's, uh, I won my last case, which was uh, the right to appeal. So now it goes back to the Immigration Refugee Board. Well, I have to just argue my case again that I should be allowed to stay in Canada based on um, I, I want refugee status. You know, my, our main goal for all of us here is to get a provision made, which, of course, with the motion being passed and such, we all could stay more of a class. You can either have a point system or however which way you would look at it from the Vietnam era to now. But we, we more want there to be a something passed where we all can stay. Now, you shared your story in, in your book, uh, The Deserter's Tale. Yes. Tell us what this has done for you. Well, I mean, it's, it's did in a lot. I mean, it's published in many, many different countries, many different languages. Lawrence Hill, who uh, wrote the book for me, is an excellent writer and an excellent man, mm -hmm. um, a great friend. But uh, the book got the whole story out in ways that I could not present it myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's certain things that's hard to talk about and certain things that would come across differently. But with the book, it's all there, it's all out there, and it's... Um, it's there for people to read and get the story, get the facts. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Joshua, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you for having me. And again, the hearing is tomorrow. We'll be sure to update you on that. You can also read more about Joshua Key in his book, The Deserter's Tale. We're going to take a break now, but when we come back, we've got sports and entertainment.